Hello Realtor friends, this is Adam Baragzai over here at AHS Realty Pros and today we're going to get a lesson from Virgil from Legal Services America on how to protect yourself from getting sued and these benefits actually protect your buyers and sellers so he's going to give us a wonderful presentation and do you want to add anything to that Virgil? Oh, thank you so much Adam. We do provide services to protect both your broker, your agent and your buyer and seller for the life of the transaction and the beautiful part is it's only paid when it's when it closes. Be happy to meet with you at any time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include Virgil's information in below and you can definitely reach out to him and, and his son Clayton is here as well who's the vice president of sales in Northern California. Yes, sir. Okay so both of their information is going to be below. Thanks guys if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out to him. Join in. This is the Wednesday meeting. We got Angel here. When there's donuts around, everybody's happier. Kenny, go for it. All right. So, thank you guys for coming. This is our first HS Realty Pros meeting of the year. So, I wanted to kind of move forward, and we have a great guest speaker here from Legal Service of America. Um, Virgil Flores, he's the president of Legal Service of America, and he's going to be talking to us about risk, the risk management program for your buyers and sellers. Now, does anybody know about risk management? What's entailed in risk management? Underwriting. We do that all day, every day. Okay. So <laughs> on the loan side. Okay. What about on the real estate side? What are the risks? Uh, getting sued. Getting sued? Good one. That's well, the biggest sued. one. Don't want to get that's sued. A, because yes, you don't want to get sued. Uh, first of all, I don't want to get sued as a broker, you know, because a lot of times when somebody gets sued, and I've seen this happen in the past, as as a, it was for not me but other agents, I've seen them because it wasn't really their fault, but they didn't do something or they promised something um, that wasn't part of the contract. Okay, and that's why sometimes we have to protect ourselves. Okay, because Sellers, remember, you know, when sellers or buyers say, hey, you know, they come to you for, you're the expert. And when you tell them something, sometimes they take it up to heart. You know, that's why we don't get involved in any legal affairs, you know, about advice on legal affairs. CPAs, we're not CPAs. We're not tax accountants, you know. Anytime it comes to that, even title and escrow, sometimes we have to let the expert know. Lenders, I, you know, when they ask questions about loans or anything, I refer to the experts, you know. They're the experts. Our expertise <coughs> is to, on the real estate side. So the biggest thing about risk management is, yes, not getting sued, protecting your E&O, okay? And so we have Virgil here with Legal Service America to speak about that. Virgil. Thank you very much, Penny. Ah, thank you so much. Great introduction. Thank you, guys. Thanks for being here. It's my pleasure. Adam, thank you. <clears throat> I've known Kenny for many years now. And yes. It's always been a great pleasure working with you. It's my son Clayton, Clayton Flores, Vice President of Northern California Sales. Right. My name is Virgil Flores. I'm the President and CEO of a company called Legal Services of America. And uh, basically, we've dedicated our lives to protecting realtors. Uh, it was about 20 years ago we saw that there was a, a real problem when it came to California real estate. But the problem is, is that uh, you're the second most sued industry in California, believe mm -hmm. it or not. Wow. Uh, second only to what? Would anybody like to guess? Lawyers. What's doctors. Doctors. Yeah. Yeah, that's a <laughs> Lawyers, Lawyers are right there. <laughs> Lawyers and doctors. <laughs> 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 I mean, real estate doctors. doctors. Wow, wow. I had no idea. Lawyers are right there. Doctors are number one most sued. And California realtors are number two. I think the reason is is that um, you know there are these uh, big expectations of that buyer who is moving into what they think is going to be uh, Hearst Castle. You know, it's going to be perfect in every way, and they they probably have a lot of reasons for that. They put a lot of money into it, a lot of hope, a lot of dreams go into uh, owning their first home, but now they've moved in and there's some problem. And it could be a myriad, you know, there's so many problems that we see, even with new homes, let alone a home that would be 20 or, you know, 30 years old. 
And so the buyer moves in. That's and fairly new in the area. <laughs> fairly new, yeah, exactly right. Mm -hmm. Now they move in and they expect it's perfect, but then they find some problem. Maybe it's uh, there's some mold or there's water that's come into the house or or the roof leaks or they, you know, what else could it be? Um, oh, just look, you know, uh, please put your phone on silent. Whoever phone goes off pays $20 and they have to sing. Seriously, you guys didn't know when you guys signed your contract, it's in the bottom of that. <laughs> really fine print. <laughs> we have an attorney to back us up. <laughs> <laughs> Witnesses. Witnesses. <laughs> okay, good. It's on tape. So when the buyer finds a problem, they're going to want you or they're going to want somebody to make it right. And then the seller, you know, they're not usually going to be too responsive because they're they moved on, you know, they're on to their new hot, their new home and their new life. But there's going to be that unhappy buyer, and, and how are they going to? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. All right, we have a seat right here for you. We got a full house. Well, Good morning. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. We never saw an accident. They're cleaning the freeway from it, though. Oh, oh okay. that's what those trucks mm. are for. Okay, got it. We we're just talking about uh, when the buyer moves in and they find the problem, then they're going to look for somebody to make it right. And <laughs> when they do, uh, usually it's not the seller because the seller now has moved on to their new home, what have you. Uh, so they're not so interested in the buyer's problem. Then they're going to come back to the realtor, the hardworking realtor that probably got this huge commission didn't hardly have to work for it, right? That's kind of their perception. And now they're gonna ask you uh, to make it right. They're going to ask you to either uh, fix the roof or the leaky faucet or whatever mm -hmm. it is, or they're going to um, ask the seller. And the seller's typically not gonna respond. So what happens is at that critical point is when our company is at its best because what we found is that the best way to manage that problem is one, at its earliest inception. You don't wanna let the buyer get so entrenched or so upset that they are going to now try to find a lawyer because we know that the only thing the lawyer does is they just sue everybody, uh, but they especially sue the realtor. The realtor is the one that they think has the most money to be gained. And of course, even if you don't have it, uh, we all know that Kenny owns a mansion and has a Lexus and no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and he doesn't mind. I drive a truck. <laughs> I live in a tiny shed. Yep. It's <laughs> the best way. He understands that, uh, you know, as the broker owner that, you know, there's a liability there because of this now, this unhappy party. If they threaten you with a lawsuit, what you have to do is you have to either pay them, pay a lawyer, which could be very expensive. Mm -hmm. Uh, or you might have to even uh, hand it over to your E&O insurance, which is not good. Kenny said it, and he said it right, when he talks about how you must uh, preserve your E&O policy and keep it from ever being hit with these little frivolous nuisance lawsuits, which, by the way, are what they are mostly. You know, they're mostly frivolous. They mostly could be worked out if you had a mediator between the parties and that's what we do. So when that uh, problem arises, now you have a whole team of people to support you <clears throat> to protect this company and to protect your commission. Because now you can hand that problem over to your risk management company. And then what we do, Clayton, <coughs> you possibly just grab me that little coffee cup right here, please. Thank you. What we do then is we get in there and we try to work it out. You know, we get these warring parties. Oh, thank you, buddy. Would you get water? Ah, this is, thank you. I've got plenty. Thank you. We get these warring parties to work out their problems. Now, sometimes we can't get them to work it out. You know, maybe they're so unhappy that they're now going to take it up a level. If they ever were to threaten you or demand money or try to sue this company, then what happens is their, their services would stop at that point, and then we would start to defend you as the agent. And what it means is that when you have our company backing you, you have 
the peace of mind of knowing that every single problem, any problem, will be covered. Uh, as a special, um, because Kenny and me have been doing business a long time, we're going to cover all of your past transactions as well. Uh, you know, for as long as you've been mm -hmm. here at this company, and there's no extra fee for that. <coughs> So now, anytime, every time, you have a little problem, uh, you're gonna give it to us and we're gonna manage it for you and we're gonna hopefully save you uh, the most valuable asset we all have, which is your time. You're not gonna have to spend your time dealing with this, what could be a very lengthy process. So does that bring up any questions? I just wanna kinda <laughs> uh, interject and kinda, <clears throat> one of the things that I have I've actually used um, their service for it. It, it wasn't uh, that the seller or buyer it was actually uh, a judgment that was on my seller trying to sell their property and they couldn't clear title until this was done away, right? So I called Legal Service America, they got involved, they sent a letter to the attorney who the attorney wasn't there anymore. In fact, the company wasn't there. So the county had to release it because they had, it was already released in Butte County, but it was filed again in Contra Costa. So they, the, the attorney, they, they did the letters and that, um, everything, and they were able to get that lien removed and the title company closed because they did their due diligence for us to make sure that, first of all, it was already clear. Second, they did their duty by contacting the attorney on the other side who didn't respond. So they had a certain, certain amount of time to respond and they didn't respond. So they were able to clear it, remove that lien um, from Contra Costa here and get the transaction closed. So it's just not the sewing part or anything, like, but it's another added protection is that what they do as well. Well so said, thank you very much for that. Uh, it is absolutely true that as a part of our service is that we're going to provide your client with their own services. So in the case it's prior to the close of escrow, there's a problem that's coming up, uh, be it a legal question, and we all know you guys don't want to have to, and you would never want to give legal advice. So now you have a real estate attorney to answer the client's questions and to remove those legal roadblocks so you can help them into escrow. Now that goes on before, during, and after the close of escrow, and it goes on for life after. Mm -hmm. For as long as they're alive, uh, they're going to be protected by this. So even if it's five years down the road, if a buyer's unhappy about something, we're gonna be there to manage it for you. <coughs> Go ahead. Dad. So I think, uh, uh, sorry, Virgil, I think we should remind like everybody, like how long uh, is the seller married to that property after they sell it? Yeah, very good. Legally, they're married to it forever. It's a uh, <laughs> legal, even though the buyer might move and then their coverage wouldn't necessarily apply for the seller, it is, uh, they are legally responsible forever. And then one other thing too is like, I know you guys got in the transaction, you could always call Kenny, you call myself, you could pick our brains for anything you want. But I'm like friends, I've been friends with Elena. Literally, you call the number and she picks up and you let her know what your stuff is. First of all, it's a healthy thing that you can have somebody else help you kind of understand it. And they get a lawyer on the line with you, schedule a time where you can talk to the attorney and like literally repossession yourself and making sure you got all your bases covered. It's, it's a really, really cool gift. Uh, to give to your clients too because you only pay when you close mm -hmm. right and right. during that process if something happens Let's just say the spaghetti hits the fan right like you got somebody there from like that's going to be able to help you out And that's never the point of it But it just gives you a lot more confidence when you're going in for a listing presentation and uh, Virgil is going to be helping us make certificates that you can make this into your actual like okay. benefit yeah. yeah, it is so true. Thank you for that. It's a, it's a value-add and it's something that's going to compel people to choose you over any other realtor. Yeah. Because who gives a lawyer for free? You know, a lawyer charges 400 an hour, but yeah. you're telling your client yeah. they can call and they can speak with a real estate attorney on any legal question from 
tax issues to bank owned property to probate yep probate. what about yeah. the tenant you know they've got tenant occupied mm -hmm. property mm -hmm. and then yes you'd certainly want to uh, customize this which you'll get the templates in your welcome kit that will uh, give you all the uh, ability you know give you the ability to put in uh, you know your your name and, and this company's name and all of that and you'll present them also this uh, uh, giant postcard and there's a great brochure that's all included that you can do a lot with to increase your visibility you know in this community you're telling people that you know, there's a lot of realtors out there, right? Mm -hmm. But do they protect you like we do, you know, here at this company? That's what's a real benefit. Value-added marketing. Mm -hmm. And it's true that we, uh, our fee of $99 is only paid at the close of the transaction. So even if the client uses the service, but it doesn't close, there is no fee. The only thing about that, we have to make sure you put the fee on every uh, side of every of your future closed transactions mm -hmm. and sometimes like if the buyer said oh, I, I'm a I'm a lawyer I don't want to pay we would ask please pay that for them give them a closing gift that really is going to yeah, yeah. I used to do, I buy it I did it all the time for all my clients um, for either side I represent seller and the buyer or represent both sides they both get this added protection because later down the road you know, when they say, hey, you know, I have a um, legal question, you know, if the neighbor's trees come over, do I have the right to cut it? Yes. You know? We hear that a lot. You know? Um, you know, so I think that's a good idea. You know, here, why don't you use the legal service that I got, they'll answer your questions on that. And it works all the time. You know, it's just that added value you're giving your client, and they see that as an added value, and also it's added protection for you. Because when anything goes wrong with the property, like Virgil said, <coughs> we're the first ones they call, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't call the lender. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a couple calls, but yeah. Yeah, but so who do I refer to? Yeah, oh, you, you got I got to gotta refer to the to the agent because exactly. it's not yeah. my realm of business. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. On on another note, um, a couple of years ago, I had a transaction um, when I, I think it was over here at HomeSmart, and the agent um, did use her services. So it was it was a situation where a lien had come up at the last minute at docs. They were getting ready to sign, a lien came up and we couldn't sign anymore because now we have a problem with the lien. And then the seller and everybody got all, you know, obviously you can tell, right? You're about to close and now it's not. And it's delayed for a couple of weeks and um, Nobody knew what to do. They were talking about suing and, and, and keeping the EMD and all this kind of stuff when it was not anybody's fault, but the title company did what they were not supposed to do and found something that shouldn't have been there. So anyway, long story short, Legal Services was able to definitely be of assistance. They were not able to turn the thing around because it was, you know, they didn't have that power because it's, it's a document. But it was definitely <coughs> something that they were able to keep the transaction together long enough to um, for everybody to actually make their own decisions. So I think that was a great service at that time. Thank you. Yeah. Nice of you to say thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. So if this takes effect even though you're not close as to yet. That's a good Because remember I have my Athens right now. That's right. where I'm at. Yeah. Well, there you go. Um, yeah. I you? have one right now. I, I'm I'm the selling agent, and then suddenly two weeks ago, um, we found that the the property has a lien. Okay. And now the seller is saying, since I I was very clear, I'm selling it as is, so he doesn't want to take care of it. Right. Right. So mm -hmm. now we're like, so how are we going to proceed? How are we going to proceed? Because as is doesn't mean as is means the condition of the property. Yes. Okay. Not mm -hmm. as is of the condition of. Their finances. The title. Yeah. The title. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing. And so maybe that's one thing you can have with legal services you could use. Then they could convey that to the seller that you're, again, like Adam said, you're obligated, you're married to that property. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, you're, it's your responsibility. It's, it's like trying to sell a property. And you take a second out, they didn't close it. They came back and said, oh, by the way, you owe me, you know, 50000 because this was never paid in escrow, 
You know, who are they going to go after? It's still the seller's responsibility mm -hmm. to get it closed. It was like, you can't say, oh, no, it's as is. <laughs> there's that. It, there's no such thing as as is. Well, well, property is as is. Yeah. Huh? It's current condition. It's as is. As, this is as is. Looking at it, okay, the way it is. Okay, if I changed, if I took that off and you came in and you bought, hey, what happened to the green, you know, thing on the back? Oh, we removed it. Oh, I wanted that. Okay, so that's what the definition of as is. It does. It's, it has nothing to do with title, finances, or anything like that. It's the condition of a property. So. I think even the seller and buyer don't know, and the, the sellers don't understand that term, where what falls under that. Yeah, and so it's our job as agents to explain it to them, because it's on the contract. Everything's on a contract. You know, we make other contracts to remediate it more, but it's still, as it doesn't mean, it, it has to go to the property <coughs> itself. It's like buying a car as is, um, buying a phone as is. You know, anything's the product itself. <coughs> but the liability, that has nothing to do. It's like, okay, you, you, you bought my phone and I still owe AT&T's, you know, $500. You're still responsible to pay, for, you know, AT&T for that phone, even though you still don't have possession of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta clear the debt of anything that you sell. You can't exactly. sell something with a debt on it. Exactly. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna sell this to you for 100 grand and you get another 150,000 worth yeah, of debt on exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So how do I resolve that? Because now the seller is just saying uh, for us to cancel. My sure. buyer doesn't want to cancel. No, of course mm. not. Well, then that's where you want an independent third party uh -huh. that doesn't yeah. have any any money involved on either side, no incentive other than to try and help these people work it out. Mm -hmm. But you, the key is is that you don't want to be in there mm -hmm. involved in that mm -hmm. because that's mm -hmm. not your role. Yeah. It's the role of a separate mediator person to get right. in there and try to get make sense of it. Mm -hmm. uh, we see this all the time. Someone brought up uh, EDM, earnest money, uh, EM, EMD. EMD money, EMD, earnest money deposits. We see this many times. Uh, we get involved, we get the buyer's deposit back, doesn't close, we don't get paid, but that's okay because it's all about trying to help you and your client. That's what we're about. Help them, uh, you know, achieve America's dream, buy or sell real estate. But also put a, put a firewall. We have to put a firewall between yeah. you and any of these legal questions, mm -hmm. any of these times where they try to draw you into being a mediator yeah. or a lawyer, because you're not, a, you didn't get into real estate to risk your career trying to help them. Right. You've yeah. said that I'm, I'm good, I'm hardworking, I've got E and O, I'm, you know, I'm ex all that's fine and good. But when it comes to buyers and sellers having their own separate legal needs, that has to be handled by or they could go out and they could hire their own lawyer, but what would that cost? Why would they do that? When they, because they chose you. And that's where I really feel if you guys can get out there and you know tell the world, it's gonna definitely bring in more people. It's, it has to, it has to. Referrals, that's mm -hmm. where it goes. Now if you, uh, please if you will, draw your attention to this uh, brochure that we've given you. <coughs> And if, if you open it up, it's real easy, kind of at a glance, to see on one side the benefits for the buyers and sellers and what they get. Now, all of this is in one package, but please keep in mind that the buyer and seller services are over on this side. And then you have your coverage over here. So now if you look down this list, you'll see that number one benefit, probably I think it's going to maybe change real estate because now you give your client the ability to speak up to 30 minutes with a real estate attorney for any non-dispute transactional <coughs> legal question. Mm -hmm. How to take title, what are the tax implications of a 1031 exchange or anything else. Documents that they might need reviewed, if they need the lawyer for anything else, they get a 25% rate reduction. Mm -hmm. Uh, prior to the close of escrow, it talks about where you know they can call in and get the legal advice. After the close of escrow is where we are there to protect everybody by providing the uh, very valuable mediation service. 
and, uh, and then even now we've added in an estate planning benefit because we found that's become a real big deal for folks. This is all for your clients and the only thing it costs mm -hmm. is $99. And um, the way to accomplish that, by the way, is in your package of benefits, mm -hmm. two different forms I want to draw your attention to. One is a very important one, it's the uh, invoice. Mm -hmm. Now this is just an example. But you're going to please, if you will, uh, fill this out and include this with each transaction. Because that's what's going to tell us, you know, who's, you know, who's the buyer, who's the seller, and where to send the certificate. Which, by the way, we've been talking with Adam about how we're going to really kind of try to customize that and make it more of an actual certificate-looking document. Mm -hmm. We're going to send to your client. We're calling them three times after the close of escrow to explain to them. But, but that's the first form. That's got to go with every transaction, however you work it out internally. Mm -hmm. And it's got to come, you know, usually this will come to us from escrow with the check okay. for $99. Okay. okay? Simple. Simple and clear. Now, on this form, this is a form that I'm just leaving with you guys today, but I need each of you to take the time to fill it out. It's very simple. And then turn it into Adam or uh, Kenny at, you know, your convenience. I, uh, because this is your enrollment form for our services. And it just simply asks for some basic info. Uh, you're going to check uh, buyer, seller, risk management, and broker agent coverage. And then check past acts because we're providing that. And sign it and date it. You don't have to worry about anything to do with this credit card because we're not going to ask you to pay us one penny. We normally charge an enrollment fee. We're, we're waiving that. So now that's because we're good friends. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate it. A tough negotiator, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a real benefit. That past yeah. acts, you know, if you that's have a great. transaction, it could be very valuable. Yeah. Now then, now to your coverage. If you look on the other side, mm -hmm. you'll see that the broker and agent gets a lot of the same services, including telephone consultation. So now this is sep this is different though because you're you're faced with your own legal question, mm -hmm. how to what to, um, you know how do I respond? Now you've got a lawyer on your side that's not charging you four hundred an hour. In fact, they're not charging you anything. Mm -hmm. As many times as you want to talk to them, that's a peace of mind. Yeah, DR DRE defense. Yeah, it's going to get better. Uh, document review, written threat of suit. Now this is where someone's threatening you. We send out our letters that help them understand that you're not going to be subjected to this kind of legal whatever. We're just not going to allow it. And that you're represented by us. Small claims court because we know that uh, Judge Judy does not always understand real estate law. <laughs> uh, commission collection. We actually had a seller uh, tell our client she wasn't going to pay because the agent sold the property too quickly. What? Yeah. Did her wow. job. She did her job too well. So we, we immediately collected her whole commission, of course. DRE, the DRE has become, um, they're really putting a lot of pressure on the industry. We see now that they, people can use the DRE as a way to uh, somehow, uh, for lack of a better, extort the realtor by saying, if you don't do my, do give me money, uh, we're going to call the, we'll, we'll file a complaint. And now the DRE, they have only one way. They call you in, it's very time consuming, could be damaging. We're going to be there to protect you. Up to five hours, that's good. Yeah, pretty good, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, five, and then also, of course, if you needed the lawyer for something more, it's a uh, 25% rate reduction. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also giving you folks the full past tax coverage and then uh, estate planning for you as well. So you can see now when you... Oh, well, uh, you, you, the, you're providing uh, the, the agents actually like information as far as their own uh, welfare and investing in properties? Yes. Well, what this is, is we, we're real interested in 
you know, we think everybody should have a, you know, do some estate planning, be it a trust or a simple will. And to that, uh, because I personally... I was talking about that with my wife the other day. Yeah, it's so important. And, yeah. and we had a relative. <laughs> we had a relative. And all the stuff that went on, the probate and everything, we just uh, know. Estate planning means we're going to give you a consultation, a document review, and a reduced hourly rate to help you, you know, whatever you want, you accomplish whatever you want. That's not going to pay for the actual lawyer. You know, the lawyer will reduce their fee after that. Okay, so basically we can have our own trust written with you. Yes. Yeah, and then okay. since it's kind of like awesome. a... You guys can't do separate trusts. Oh. I think I think Virgil. Every time he's mentioning that twenty five percent off, he's kind of saying like it's a Costco pricing. You know, if you walk into an attorney, and I've had the uh, the privilege or the whatever you want to call this of getting sued when I was a young landlord, and it cost me one hundred forty thousand dollars. In walking in with no representation, you literally look like a big old money sign, right? Yeah. And uh, so now that we're going under almost like a group plan in the essence, right? That's right. We're getting also a discount on it, so you know you're going to be protected. And one of the biggest things I hope you're going to mention on here, because I've actually interviewed with big box realty companies, and one of the scariest things they told me was uh, was like that I was responsible for a ten thousand dollar deductible. <laughs> no, I was just like, what are you talking about? Like, why am I paying that deductible? You guys don't offer any of this stuff? They said, no, we don't offer anything like this. And I was like, that's crazy because I did all this hard work. I did everything right. The market shifts. The first person they're going to come after is me because the, the guy can't afford his mortgage. Mm. Instead of just being upright and saying, hey, you know what? I can't afford my mortgage because I lost my job. He's going to go try to weasel himself out of it, right? And it's unfortunate, but it's the way it happens. So true. So in our society, people are all about, and especially in California, they're very much about, you know, it's somebody else's fault. Yeah. And who am I going to pin the blame on? And by the way, I also have heard about, and this is the what's out there, is that if you sue the realtor, they're going to pay. Because they are faced with usually too many, uh, too many legal bills, and they don't want their reputation harmed, and they don't want their E and O harmed. So what they, you know, what they do is they usually just get a check. In your case, though, one other big benefit: if they get through our lawyers, if they, you know, battle through and they get to an actual claim on your E and O, our company pays your twenty five hundred dollar deductible that you would have normally paid if you were anywhere else with most other companies. We're paying that for you. So you have zero financial exposure. And now you guys can go out there and be the great realtors that you are and focus on what you do great. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to these headaches, these time consuming things that can really, really ruin your day, now you just, you hand those off to your legal services company. Mm -hmm. The only thing we ask is please again, make sure the fee is on there mm -hmm. each time and make sure we get that form because we're gonna send them documents and it's a key part of this group legal service plan. It's a key part because when the buyer has an alternative way out, okay, an alternative way out of their unhappiness, now, and they've got somebody that's listening, that's caring, that says, okay, we can see here that the roof was leaking back in 92. We know that they patched it. Now we're going to go to the seller and we're going to say, Mr. Seller, and come on, be reasonable. And let's try to appease this buyer and get everybody happy. Now that will go a long way to preventing, that's the key word, preventing lawsuits. This is like that little shot you get for your, you know, the flu vaccination because it will actually prevent what could be a very serious, you know, serious matter. And you don't want to be faced with that. Um, but I do want to just go back to this enrollment form. Kenny has asked that I pass these out, and if you guys, when you have time, please just simply fill in the blanks, and if you have any questions, you call us. Uh, you'll write in $99, sign it, and then just turn it in so we can have uh, your enrollment in place. One key thing, though, is we normally, again, charge $300 for past acts, but for some reason, um, that's still on here, but you can just cross that out. So, I don't know what I do with my 
Virgil is very good at risk management out yeah. there. If you knew that we were sloppy and we ever had any claims even in the past, he wouldn't make that offer on here. Hey Virgil, are you gonna? Would you like to uh, making? Uh, would you like to talk about some good practices to making sure that it doesn't ever even get to your department? Because we realtors have a lot in this actual uh, process. When some something hits the fan, the first thing they do is they call us. And if you can I step in for a second, please. So, I'll let you so uh, uh, from, and this is not a plug for AHS and our 100% commission platform, but I'm, uh, from the places that I've interviewed at when I was a younger I'm agent, that's how you fill it out. Uh, besides the $10,000 deductible scaring me, like uh, right, me writing a check for $10,000 and having to, to be always kind of uh, uh, feeling like I gotta basically protect my back, right? Nobody's there, there's no, there's no umbrella behind it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you, uh, when I if something did ever happen, they called me first, right? So best practice is if you're going to go on vacation, please update your voicemail. I'm going to be on vacation from these days to these days. Please send me an email or a text if you're getting this voicemail and it's urgent, right? That way that person doesn't think you're ignoring them because you've been overseas for the last two months and having a great time, right? Which is completely perf uh, allowable, but you just got to make sure that person knows. And when... when uh, when somebody does call you with a concern, um, whatever the concern is simple. on here, uh, one of the things that like uh, you never have to do, you never have to answer a question on the spot. So this is my own personal advice and I don't know how you feel about it. If somebody calls me and says, hey, you know, do I have this? I say, that's a great question. Let me get back to my desk, review the file, and then we'll talk about this. Because a lot of times people just literally like, I don't want to say vomit in their own mouth, they vomit in their own mouth. And they say things that like, oh, I, uh, well, no, I'm just saying <coughs> they end up just doing it to themselves. Somebody calls you and you don't remember. So you, instead of just saying, being truthful and saying, I don't remember, let me go back and check the file and, uh, and proceed that way. That's what they do. And that really has some dire consequences because now you're having to undo your word what you said 10 minutes ago. So true. So very, very true. I like what you say because it's, uh, it is all about uh, one follow up. You know, they're they're looking for the time. They're just one second away from, you know, you ignore them for one minute because you forgot to change your vacation voicemail. And that's what then catapults them into the lawyer's office. So, of course, you want to take these measures. And, and just like when you communicate with them, if they're trying to put you, that's what we did this for. Realtors told me for many years, they said they will put us in this position. You know, you want to help them. You feel like you're so versed in real estate, it would seem very obvious that this is what you should do, but there is this line between being a good realtor and giving legal advice. The NAR, uh, Code of Ethics, Article 13, I believe, quote me, says clearly, you cannot give specific legal advice, and if they need it, they have to go get their own lawyer just like with a CPA, mm -hmm. but so many times they want to draw you across there. And then, just as, as Adam said, it could be a dire situation because they will use that down the road, even though you're your best friend and everything else. You know, friends and money are soon parted, mm -hmm. and they're going to be coming back and saying that you said this or you did this. Well, in fact, Mr. Unhappy Buyer, Mr. Mm -hmm. or Mrs. Unhappy Buyer, I gave you the ability to speak with your own legal counsel. Firewall, mm -hmm. I told you that if you had a problem, uh, you could call on this company and they would provide you a, a lifetime of risk management and dispute resolution. Firewall, mm -hmm. see how that is? Yeah. Now Kenny's sleeping a lot better too knowing that you guys aren't <laughs> doing anything to put his great company in. I don't need no more gray hair, guys. <laughs> None of us do. None of us want any of these problems. We want to sell real estate for yeah. fun and profit, right? Yeah. We want to be in real estate. We want to have fun. We want to be able. But also, I think we've taken what actually was a kind of a negative. This whole thing about legal risk, mm -hmm. and we turned it into a marketing tool. I didn't know it, but now people are calling me. Uh, they're saying, "What is this about? Where the client can speak with an attorney? How is that? You know, how do we get it?" 
guys are out in front. You know, we've got you know a couple <coughs> offices around here, but no reason why this shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. You know, putting you guys way above your competition. Yeah. Any other questions? So, can you walk through the? I'm sorry. Could you walk through the process if somebody needed to make a phone call or use your service? Like, yes. what 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 entails? Like, how long does it take for them to get in touch with somebody? Yes, uh, it's when it's a um, an immediate response. They're not calling and talking to a machine. We wanted to never. We want them to be able to know they're talking with a human a live body mm -hmm. and then beyond that uh, so it's within 24 hours that we guarantee they're going to be speaking with an attorney same for you guys so when they call in they call into our office uh, they're going to say I'm Mrs. Byer and I I'm working with Kenny at uh, and then we just research that we know that now they are entitled to the services mm -hmm. and then um, that's really all that's required at that point now uh, we ask that to establish that relationship, they have either a buyer broker or a um, AD listing agreement. Call you guys, you know, I'm not. I should be. I should some know. Some type of agency disclosure. Some type of agency disclosure. So we know they're your client because they have to be. They can't just, you know, not just anybody can call us. Mm -hmm. Now that should encourage them to sign the listing agreement. And then lastly, then yeah. that's all that's required. We, yeah. we then start to answer their legal question, 30 minutes per subject matter, and there is no limit in the amount of times they may call. Chris, when I call, Elena picks up. That's, there's, there's no, yeah, like, That's the good thing about dialing. the service. You're not on hold or, so, or, or, you know, they'll pick up, like, right away. It's like every time I've called, Elena will pick up, go, hey, Kenny, how's it going? And I'm like, oh, oh wow, you, I got you. you know, it's like, they didn't even know. I guess you must have on call ID. I don't know. Well, <laughs> so we do. Yeah, so. <laughs> so. Are the attorneys located in another state, or are they, where are they located? Uh, we only use California attorneys, okay. real estate attorneys. Uh, these have been hand-selected. I've worked with some of these guys for 20 years, and I know them to be experts in real estate law. So they're also, okay, so I'm clear, California licensed, Real estate attorneys, real estate defense attorneys, not <coughs> litigators, mm -hmm. and then also that they must have their own E&L. Mm -hmm. so. How about out of state? We're in Hawaii and Nevada, but we're, we're growing. Okay. Arizona next. Yeah, um, um, that was my question. Arizona. Big mm -hmm. company, big, a lot of room, a lot of room to yeah. grow. All right. Thank you. I think that's, I mean, does, any more questions for Virgil before we kind of move on with the meeting? No, but uh, I'm going to do, a, if you guys want to take a couple of minutes break, let me finish up a video that, that I got started with Virgil on here, and then I'll come back. Because he's right. going to, are you going to take off? I was going to go unless okay. you guys have more okay. questions. Okay, but um, do, you want the, do you want us to turn this into you? I'll turn it in whenever you get time. Okay, I can email it to you. Perfect. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, while he's doing that, thank you. One thing I did want to point out is AHS Realty Pros is a 100% commission platform. And a lot of times people ask me, what's the trick or what's the hidden agenda? Now we're going to ask Virgil here, since he's known me for two years. Is there any drawbacks to the 100% commission platform? None. Zero. It's a good program. I endorse it. Do, uh, do we, uh, is it, are, are the brokers, are they supportive from your own experience from working with Kenny for the last couple of years? Very supportive. We Very have, supportive. We have office trainings. Great uh, office space here. We include all the technology, so I'm going to have my information as well. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Welcome to AHS Realty Pro. So we're centrally located in Concord. So this is our reception area, and Kenny is the most supportive person I've actually come across in real estate. I'm here for you. Introducing AHS Realty Pros the simple 100% real estate commission brokerage with no monthly fees. You keep all the commission and pay just $495 transaction fee. AHS Realty Pros allows real estate agents to have a more profitable and robust business. AHS Realty Pros includes our cutting edge, fully automated CRM and agent IDX website at no additional cost. We have a fully equipped office that's free of charge for AHS members to use.